Welcome to your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Roll out your yoga mat. Prepare to clear your mind of clutter. Find balance and peace to optimize your health. Open your heart. Breathe. Connect with nature. Stay patient and trust your journey. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jenny and today's practice is going to be focused on the hands, the wrist and the arms, primarily the forearms. So this stretch will be really good for you. If you use your hands and your arms a lot, let's say playing sports or even for work, if you type a lot, for example, or maybe you have carpal tunnel. The only thing is you want to be mindful if you have any active inflammation. Okay. Take it very easy. Listen to your body and modify. We'll be opening up the tissues surrounding the wrist and hopefully releasing any stiffness that you may have in the forearms and giving the fingers some love as well. So this is going to be a mindful practice, not only focusing on the stretch, but also focusing in on your breath. Okay. So let's take a moment to settle into your practice. We'll start in a comfortable seated position. The legs can be crossed or out in front of you and then take a moment to roll the shoulders up, back and down. Find a comfortable position for your hands. For now, it can be resting on the thighs, the knees are down beside you, and then allow the eyelids to become heavy. And start to soften your face and steady your breath. And let the breath get deeper. Nice deep inhalation. Lengthen your exhalation. And feel the support of the ground beneath you. The spine is upright, neutral with your pelvis. And now begin to draw your awareness to the tips of your fingers. See if you can feel the pulsation of energy and in the palms of your hands. And now to your wrists and your arms. And softly flutter your eyes open. Draw the hands in front of you, interlace your fingers, draw the palms to touch and start to sway the hands from side to side, just gently opening up front side and back sides of the wrists. Breathing into it, becoming aware if you feel any tightness around the wrists. And now we'll invite a circular motion. Nice and slow, reverse the direction. And come back to center and draw the hands out to either sides. Now, if you're like me and the hands don't easily touch the ground beside you, you can walk the hands back a little bit further. The fingers will be facing out to begin and shift your torso back and just add a little sway from side to side. If you need to just opening up the forearms, you can go back a little further. The fingers can be slightly out a little bit more. You can find your sweet spot. And then settle into stillness so that you feel a mild to moderate level of sensation in your forearm. Breathe into it. And we'll invite that rocking motion from side to side once again. And now come upright with your torso, draw the hands in front of you, clasp the fingers and flip the palms away. Now draw that right wrist slightly up and feel that opening in the outline of that forearm. Breathe into it.
Come back to center and the opposite side, left wrist goes up, right wrist goes down and breathe into it. Feel the opening in that outer forearm. Getting into those tiny little bones around the wrists, gently stretching the fingers as well. Let the breath get a little deeper, relax your shoulders. On your next inhalation, come back to center and release. Give the hands a little shake out. Beautiful. Okay, now draw the arms out to either side, stretch them nice and long, let the shoulders relax. Now the, curl the thumb in towards the palm and then the fingers roll over the thumb and slowly draw the fist in towards the body, stretching the top sides of the wrists. Breathe into this. And now slowly release the fingers and start to circle out the wrist, fan the fingers out nice and wide, and then curl the fingers in, make fists, go a couple times in each direction, just allowing that fresh blood flow circulation, run through the fingers, the forearms, the wrist, and reverse the direction. Beautiful. Now we'll go a little bit deeper into the wrist, the fingers, and the forearms by coming into all fours. Come into a tabletop position. Right hand, fingers go in towards the body. And then gently circle it out. Now be mindful of how much pressure you place on that right hand. It should not be painful. You should feel an effective stretch but not too deep. Reverse the direction. Deep in the breath. And then flip, come onto the top of the hand and be mindful here as well. Start to circle it out. The fingers can be spread out or if in a bit more narrow feels better for you, then do that. Reverse the direction nice and slow, mindful of what you feel. All right, let's place that right hand down, left hand, fingers in towards the body. Nice, slow, circular motion. Reverse it. Okay, and just as we started on the other side, wrist away from the body, fingers in towards the body. Find the amount of pressure that feels safe for you and invite a gentle circular motion. And reverse. You should feel that nice stretch, not only in the wrist, but in the forearms. All right, we'll come back to center, place both palms in. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper. If it feels safe for you, both hands this time, fingers facing in. You could always do it one hand at a time if that works best for you. If you feel like you could benefit from a deeper stretch, start to shift your weight back so the hips go back towards the heels until you find an effective stretch for you. The wrist will start to lift and you should feel this also in the fingers. It may feel nice to tuck the toes and you can walk the hands in a little bit closer and sit your weight back and down. Nice deep breath, creating more space around the wrist, opening up that tension. Breathe into it and then exhale it out. Yeah, 
and a little rocking from side to side may feel good for you. We'll come back to center and this time flip one hand at a time. See if it feels safe for you. Maybe both tops of the hands go down onto the mat, fingers facing in towards the body. And feel that nice stretch on the back side of the arm. And then the wrist. And from here, it may feel nice to sway from side to side. Okay. Now from here, slowly start to draw one hand at a time back to the mat and ease yourself back into a seated position. We're going to do one for the fingers. So you'll draw your left hand out in front of you, flip the palm away, fingers facing down and use your right hand to gently pull the pinky finger in towards the body. Take a deep breath. And then we'll move to the ring finger, deep breath. To the middle finger. And index. And now the thumb. All right, release and shake it out or make a circular motion, whatever feels good for you, creating even more space. And we'll go second side. This time the right hand fingers go down towards the floor. Use your left hand to gently pull on that pinky finger in towards the body. Breathe into it. Moving on to the ring finger. And middle finger. Index finger. And your thumb, pull it in and breathe. And once again, a little shake out or circular motion. We'll do one more here. This is one of the deepest stretches. It feels really good, but one of those to be really mindful of if you do have any inflammation happening right now. So you'll cross one forearm on top of the other and then interlace the fingers and start to draw the hands in towards the heart. So maybe you stop here or maybe you thread the arms all the way through or halfway and you should feel that twisting motion around the wrist and breathe. Let the shoulders relax. And now slowly unwind the arms, circle it out. And we'll go into the second side. So the opposite forearm this time, clasp the fingers and slowly start to draw the hands in towards the heart. Stop when it feels like an effective twisting and stretching sensation for you, where it feels safe and therapeutic. Maybe you come all the way through, maybe it's halfway. Breathe into that, shoulders relax. And slowly begin to release, unravel the arms in one last time. Give the arms a little shake out. Stretch the arms out to either side. Flex the fingers up towards the sky and then down and up and down and circle and the opposite direction. I hope you find some relief in your hands, your wrists, and your arms. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm releasing new videos every week. Namaste.